morning everybody students of third year and final year i am dr vishal limbore department of preparatory motiwala homeopathic medical college associate professor today i will take the topic of steps to repetition a very important topic a relevant topic both for third year and fourth year because how the process of repetition starts and what are its prerequisites and in what steps we have to go you will understand in this topic so here are the specific learning objectives the first objective is approach to a case you will be learning what should be your approach how you will be taking a case this is the first thing the second objective is learning learning the process of case how the processing of case starts what are again the prerequisites for case processing the third is process of repetition how actually we enter a process of repetition and the last is path towards civilian so how we, you will have to decide a path towards civilian so on this specific learning objectives on this four objectives we will go towards the topic steps to repetition so now in steps just i will first generalize what are the steps then in specific i will tell you about the steps of repetition how you will go with the steps what you will be looking in the steps and what knowledge you should have so first is case taking this is the first thing case taking the second is recording and interpretation the third point is defining the problem the next classification and evaluation of the symptoms the next point is approach towards the case the next is conversion of symptoms into rubrics this is one of the point the next you will go with the repertorial totality then the selection of the repertory and repertorization then you will go with the repertorial result analysis of repertorial result and the prescription is the last point so under this points we will be going to see what are the stage to repetition so first point we will go with case taking actually when you will see when you have studied in the third year organ of medicine from aphorism 83 to 104 that is full of case taking so in this case taking they have given the objective of case taking define the problem of the patient what from what problem the person is the patient is suffering now i am telling the person is as well as the patient is suffering patient is suffering means what is the diagnostic pro, uh, problem of the person what is the diagnosis of that case when we are calling this as a patient but at the same time as a person means diagnostic and means qualities of the person the personality these two things we uh, do see in case taking the next is attempt at problem resolution after defining the problem of the person as well as patient that is diagnostic angle as well as the personality angle then we we'll look at the attempt at problem resolution then next is management of the case when we see of the management of the case we will go with the what are the measures it may be an auxiliary measures it may be you will have to refer to a consultant it may be you will have to give a physiotherapy so all are the, the things in what way you will manage the case and the last but not the least is the prescribing a simulimum so with all this you have to prescribe the simulimum so from this point of view we will be learning the objectives of the case taking so now next so the next point after case taking is recording and interpretation now when you will see about the recording and interpretation these two points are there so in this what is meant by recording means i am before you i am saying the things and all the things are recorded so whatever i do say exactly in the same way 
it has been recorded therefore the name recording is given now when i am looking at the recording the exactness should be there now this exactness was perceived by dr hanneman and he told that whatever is the language of the patient you have to record the symptom in that language now you have to record the symptoms in that language means whatever the patient is speaking in english in hindi in his mother tongue whatever the mother tongue the person is speaking in that way only you have to see in that way you have to record the symptoms so now only not only the language but his gestures you have to record his gestures also at what time the patient is crying he is laughing he is giving a smile so what are the expressions these expressions are very very important so the exactness is there and without adding our notions now whenever he is giving the meaning the name recording this means your notion should be not there notion means your prejudices what do you feel and you you will apply to the patient no no whatever is the language you have to follow the language of the patient now next is interpretation this is about recording next he is going towards the interpretation now what is mean by interpretation when you see about the interpretation dr hanneman says that you should have the sound senses to interpret it without any prejudices now here whatever the patient is saying exactly in that way there should be interpreting of that sentence there should be no additions in this now going with the next point of repetition this is okay the interpretation i have told keeping senses intact sound senses next is defining the problem now what do you mean by defining the problem when you are coming towards the case first of all you will have to exactly do the diagnosis of the case diagnosis from the medicine point of view whatever it is being given in the books of medicine that diagnostic criteria you should take first because it is utmost important from the homeopathic point of view and homeopath can't go beyond uh, the diagnosis if he is diagnosed the case then only he can go beyond his thinking can be, go beyond to see the person therefore a diagnosis a medical diagnosis is very very important and next when you will see the medical diagnosis automatically you will see the patient as a person what is the personality behind that patient today that patient has come that person has come with a patient means he is depicting you as a patient he is having some symptoms and he wants relief and he should do his his natural work so what was this person behind this patient before coming to you this also you will have to see this so this is the diagnostic point of view as well as patient as a person then you will go with the classification and evolution evaluation of the symptoms now i am taking telling about the classification and evaluation when we are going to the classification of the symptoms it includes the analysis of symptoms now see here students analysis of the case is different analysis of the symptom is different now when are doing analysis of symptom exactly what you are doing analysis of components of that symptoms a symptom dr boring hasan have told the definition of symptom a symptom consist of location sensation and modality so these are the three points location is one of the component sensation is the other component and the third component is modalities location sensation and modalities and with this you will have to see this so actually when we are analyzing the symptoms you are going with which type of symptom it is whether it is sensation in that sensation uh, whether it is mental general whether it is physical general whether it is particular whether it is characteristic particular whether this is diagnostic symptoms with more intensity now remember here that diagnostic symptoms with more intensity may become a characteristic symptom 
So this study, the study of symptomatology you should have. And with this study of symptomatology, you can analyze the symptoms. So the knowledge of symptomatology is must for the analysis or you may say the classification of the symptoms. So, and the next, you go with the evaluation. Now this is the main point, who will evaluate the case? Who is the person who can properly evaluate the case? Now remember, a person, a physician who is taking the case is a proper uh, person who will evaluate the case or the two doctors, three doctors who are observing the case that doctors can also evaluate properly because he know the gestures of the patient the way in which the patient is telling so now when we are talking about the evaluation of symptoms it is the relatively the relativity of the symptoms whether the mental general should be taken first or physical generals so in the case whatever the importance the patient is giving and you are acknowledging that importance that is also important you should acknowledge the importance then only you can say that no in this case the physical generals are more important which i have got or the mental generals are more important or the maybe one of the characteristics particular it is very very important it is something characterizing the case so this is the thing which you will have to see in the evaluation and even in evaluation always always you have to remember the hierarchy according to the physician according to the doctor who is taking the case according to doctor who are observing the case now in this hierarchy also you, are, you will have to give your mass 1, 2, 3 in your case taking so the basic of case taking here again comes we will have its importance in evaluation if a person is saying when you are asking a physician is asking suppose suppose i am physician and i am asking you the patient what your desires and aversions what you desires for here your intention is that your desires are means according to food food habits you are asking but just you have asked a plain patient desire and the patient says no I want to roam here and there this is my desire I want to travel so take it out don't say here now I am asking you about food habits and suppose a person says patient says no I desire sweets very much I like the sweets now these are the expression I like the sweets I love the sweets I can't take my lunch or dinner without sweets now this is something the cravings the likings of this person and this will be given three marks and when the person says uh, doctor sweet uh, desires uh, okay I like sweet now this is the expression you have to catch this is the expression the patient is thinking and then he is giving so this is not a prompt expression so one mark you have to give because why you will have to give the markings because you will forget after the case ticking that you have to you have given this mark uh, the person have said this and that therefore you have to write one two three marks and that in the evolutionary order you have to see which symptoms according to perspective symptoms is giving an hierarchy so now going with the evaluation after an evaluation what you will have to do so after the evaluation the next is approach towards the case now when you are discussing about the approach towards the case we should know the three philosophies a Keynes philosophy Bonington's philosophy and Dr. Gogol's philosophy so these three are the stalwarts they have written the basic repertories Dr. Gogol, Dr. Kane, Dr. Bonington so whenever you will know this philosophy whenever you will know their logic then only you can take the approach so a case will decide a case which is coming will decide which is the approach so when 
a case is showing the particulars it is showing the generals and you will not find more mental symptoms or they are not prominent or maybe according to dr boning hassan a physician is an average physician and he is not able to take the mental symptoms so on the physical generals only you will have to on your characteristics particulars you will have to go approach towards the case with the boningson's approach and if you will see that the person is giving you physical generals but as well as his mental faculty is elaborated or the physician has elaborated his mental faculty so why shouldn't i take a keynes approach here the philosophy of keynes you have, you have to apply and you will have to go with the approach the next is dr bogel's approach now when i may may not have now see dr bogel was a student of follower of dr boningson's and dr kate so here he have taken at the base level while uh, doing his repertory while constructing his repertory the basics of dr boningson but also he didn't neglected the others that is dr kent so he used to follow in his system the mental symptoms also importance but now what he have added he have added the philosophy of dr boningson as well as dr kent plus in addition his self philosophy is adding about the pathological generals about the clinical rubrics about the time modalities about the causation which dr hanneman have already told but he have reflected it in more particular manner in more refined way he is explaining dr bogar so here when you are taking the approach of dr bogar it should include the clinical rubrics clinical symptoms it should uh, include the pathological symptoms the pathological generals so these are the three approaches you can go with after evaluation now after evaluation your evaluation team will tell you what approach to take your case will decide the evaluation your case will decide your approach now the next thing conversion of symptoms into rubrics now this is a major part when i was talking about in the second point of the case tiki interpretation recording and interpretation here the interpretation comes where now the interpretation should be exactly you should don't do the exact thing you will not get the case you will not get the full form where to go and you will not choose the similar the proper similar and you will be in the sea in the ocean now here you will have to see about the conversion of patient's language into repertory language now this conversion of patient's language into the repertory language is nothing but it is called as a rubric so handle it with care when you are converting it i am taking telling you thousands of time that handle this with care when you are converting the language of patients in the rubric language because dr hanneman uh, dr kane or dr boningson while doing this they have they have been handling the proper way that we will have to study next repertory totality now here i am not talking about the which totality i am talking about repertory totality i am not talking about totality of symptoms remember a totality of symptoms is different when you are evaluating the symptoms and when you are not repertorizing when you are not converting into rubrics then the side way goes with a non repertory approach after evaluation directly automatically you can go with a matramedica image with this symptom with this uh, totality of this symptom with this congruent symptoms and you with the image of matramedica directly you can give the remedy that is non repertory approach i am here talking about the repertory approach and when i am taking the rubrics i am converting into rubrics the totality of rubrics which i am forming is repertory totality so the name here when i am talking of totality repertory totality means totality of that rubrics i am taking it and 
this is the presentation of rubric will be as per your approach which approach you are taking so automatically the approach will be if you are taking a kinds approach the mentals will be at higher chi than physical genders then at last there will be characteristics particulars now when i am saying that the mentals will be higher at higher chi than the physical genders but it is not a water type compartment that the three things should be in the linearity only when you find that physical general is first then the mental general is giving importance you can do it so dr kent also say that it is not a water type compartment according to case what the symptoms you are getting you will have to see this but physical genders mental generals they will have an hierarchy in the kent's approach when i am going with the bonisson's approach automatically i will take the physical genders the positive modalities at the hierarchy the positive modality is maybe a general modality particular modality and the mental symptoms i will keep it to dif differentiation in bonisson's approach because dr bonisson says that there are problems hurdles from the physician's point of view also and the patient's point of view whether the patient is saying the reality you don't know or the physician may make the mistake in interpretation so let we keep the mental symptoms aside and let us keep in the hierarchy at the last so that we can differentiate the remedies so this is bonisson's approach and afterwards the approach comes of boger so boger is going with all the both approach may be mental general physical general positive modality pathological genders are important clinical rubrics because dr boger believes whatever is in the mind that is reflected in your physical so therefore as mind is important therefore physical is also important and mostly dr boger goes in a bonisson's way the physical generals or whatever the physicals you are looking give them important because with your five senses you can look at this so next so here in the repertorial prototyping there, there is presentation of rubrics as per approach and here there is restructuring of rubrics now when i say about restructuring of rubrics i mean to say that i am going in repertories which repertory gives a proper rubric proper remedies now when i am talking about the rubrics the rubric should be properly defined and that repertory i will take it now initially nowadays you will see about the students over the home path they are using radar kara home path various types of softwares and they are using the repertories like synthesis repertory the complete repertory the new repertories because they have well defined rubrics it doesn't means when when i have taken the case approach i will not refer a other repertory like murphy repertory so i will not do like this because if murphy is giving a well defined rubric i will take it the philosophy is different and when you are going towards the repertory you are going with the repertory because a rubric is well defined so see the difference in the philosophy and when you are choosing a repertory it is not that i am taking kent's approach then only i will have to go with the synthesis repertory synthetic repertory but the other repertory is giving a well defined rubric i will go with that other rubric also next so this was restructuring of rubrics now selection of repertory and repertorization so whatever i have defined already but on the simple grounds on the basic level whatever it has been told when you are taking bonisson's approach you, you refer btpb repertory or robin murphy's repertory when you are going with kent's approach you can go with kent's repertory with the synthesis repertory synthetic repertory a complete repertory and when you are going with the bogus approach you can see go with the bcr bonisson's characteristics and repertory by dr bogus robin murphy repertory the clinical repertories general clinical repertory i mean to say 
or you may go with the specific clinical repertory or regional repertory like Berry's eye repertory, Bell's diarrhea. So this repertory is also you can go through it. But it is not a golden rule that that only you have to stick. Don't be rigid. Again, I am saying. Next. Now we are coming with the repertorial result. Now there are group of remedies. After repertorization, on the repertorized sheet, you will get the group of uh, repertory. And in this group of remedies, we will select a simulum. But it is not an end, but the real process starts here. As we say that repertory is not an end. Because the other aspect is the Matra Medica. When we have talked about the relationship between homeopathic Matra Medica, organ and repertory, we have seen this. That repertory is not a means that you are having of computers, you are having softwares and you can just click on one click you will get the simulum. Because computer doesn't have logic and you will have to apply your logic of organon in the Matra Medica and you will select the simulum. So repertory will give you only close coming group of remedies. Now analysis of repertory result and prescription. Here, whatever I have told that there is a role of Matra Medica knowledge starts here towards the selection of simulum. So now, this is the thing, whatever we have seen about the steps to repertorization and now just we will recapitulate the things, whatever we have learned about this, the case taking, the steps are case taking, recording and interpretation, the def defining the problem, classification and evaluation of symptoms, approach towards the case and conversion of symptoms into rubrics. Next, we will see about, we have seen about the repertorial totality, what it is, selection of the repertory and repertorial result, the uh, analysis of repertorial results and their prescriptions. So, and the, in summarization, what we have seen is that we have seen about the approach towards the case about the case taking and why of that case taking the learning learning the processing of the case how we will have to process the case the process of repertorization and the last the part towards the simulimum so students these are the things which have gone through which have understood through but for more understanding in our clinical classes when you will Solve the cases or you will go through the cases and repertorize the seed automatically, you will understand more things in detail. Here, exam based questions obviously, you will have to go with the exams and you will have to write it. Whatever you have seen it practically, you have studied it. So, the questions are defined repertorization. Explain the steps towards repertorization. Now, this is a question in ABHS question paper, university papers. Each and every time, after 6-6 six, six months, they do call it 10 mask question. So this 10 mask question should be prepared students as well as the process of repetition is asked for 5 marks. Again, in between whatever the steps, whatever the steps you have learned, one of the steps they may ask, they are asking you for 5, five marks. Suppose for example, repertorial totality, analysis of the symptoms, evaluation of the symptoms. So, one month step of for five farmers they will ask you so everything you will have to take care now when they are asking you define repetition first you have to go through the definition of repetition and then you have to explain the steps depending on the mask system you have to write it okay i think you have understood the things if you have questions you can put your questions in inbox i will explain you Whatever there are queries in inbox, you can put it and again, whatever other, other things, you can call me in the college timings from 10.30 to 5.30. I may solve your questions, okay? Or you can meet me personally in my department. Thank you. Thank you.